Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Ninth Legion. Let's play some more Witcher 3 Blood and Wine expansion. So we need to head to Corvo Bianco and examine the body kept in the wine cellar. That doesn't really make me want to drink wine from there, but fine. Um, we'll go investigate. I'm going to guess it's actually the building up there. Maybe let's look at the map. So this is actually a big change. They've actually updated the map quite a lot um, from the base game when we last played. Um, you can actually filter a lot of the map markers by different things right now, which is actually really good. Like, for example, you can easily search by merchants and craftsmen. If you remember the last series, it took me a while to actually like find stuff on the map. Now you, they've made it a lot easier, and I really like that. Um, but we just need to focus. We don't really need to worry about that right now. Uh, although, where is my horse? Where is Roach? Oh, Roach is still down there. Damn. Um, if I go across the bridge, I can probably just summon him to me, though. He does have that little magical teleportation ability, which is rather nice. So... Aha! There we go. That's it. I'm remembering the controls. Hey, Roach. Let's mount up. And... Go check out this vineyard. Man, this game is really pretty. I have to say. This is a, a nice change from the previous kind of dull and dreary. Have to hurry. Oh, god damn, everywhere we go there's fighting. Whoa, that's that's a lot of fighting. What the hell is happening in here? Uh, I'm gonna dismount. Fighting on horseback is maybe for later. Oh you killer must still be here. Okay, I guess we're not gonna render aid to that guy. Uh that's a whole bunch of dead guardsmen. What the hell just happened? Is it the beast? Maybe. Okay, I'm going to grab that. We've got some new gear, which is interesting. Um, guess I'm going to pick some mushrooms. Are there any, like, signs to follow? Throat torn open by man-like jaws. Man-like, except for long fangs. Ooh. Oh. Busted ribs, blood from the ears. Took a solid hit. Massacred by a vampire. Not a Nekimura, though. Or a Fletter. Bruxa. Gotta be. A Bruxa. Okay, we need to. I need to check that out. We need to look at our beastry. Um, and I can't remember the shortcut key for beastry. No. Oh, okay. So we're gonna get lots of pop-ups as I go through this because it needs to tell me stuff. Um, not characters. Not the tutorial. Beastry. Okay. Um, not gonna worry about that right now. What are we looking for? Vampires. A Bruxa. Okay. So we fought Sarasati, Katakins, High Vampires, and an Ekimara. But a Bruxa is new. Hello. Okay. Bruxae are rare creatures, mostly far from population centers, for they care greatly for their own safety and make layers in places where they cannot be taken by surprise. And they avoid crowds and emerge from their shelters only at night. Although this one's just murdered a whole bunch of people in daylight, which is interesting. Uh, they are very fast, with uncanny speed. And they're invisible, so they can turn invisible. That's That's good. Attack unexpectedly from behind. Okay, so we might need some moon dust bombs. Okay, so they're vulnerable to Yerden, Black Blood, Vampire Oil, and Moon Dust Bombs. Okay, let's we know what we're facing. Let's get prepared. And moon dust. Could be lifesavers. Damn right. I think I actually have those. Uh, let's see, where's my Oils, bombs, and potions. Okay. Do I have vampire oil? I have enhanced vampire oil. Perfect. Uh, we shall apply oil to our silver sword. That is my silver sword, isn't it? Yep. Okay, so you now do extra damage to vampires. Plus 25% attack power for 40 strikes. Which isn't bad. Have I got moon dust? Superior moon dust. Very nice. Okay, we'll take that. Uh, let's equip that. What else do I want? We've got one that can blind and poison. I don't think I'm going to need either of those, so let's take our uh, moon dust. And have I just got like a explosion one? Fire explosion? That that sounds pretty good. Or I could freeze foes, or just shrapnel. That does the most damage. 600 physical, 600 silver, and 10 fire. Let's take that. Okay, that seems like it's going to work. Um, what was the other thing? There was something else. Do I have... 
This is where you might have to bear with me a bit, because I've got to remember all the stuff we've picked up from previous playthroughs. Do I have like a vampire decoction? Probably not. There was a ha was a hangman something or other? Black blood? Full moon, what was full moon? Maximum increases maximum vitality. Interesting. Twenty-five out of a hundred toxicity might be worthwhile. Enhance what honey. Uh, we've definitely got enhanced No, we've got superior swallow currently equipped. Is that the best one? 80 vitality regeneration? Yeah, that is better. Okay. Ah, superior black blood. There we go. Uh, vampires and necrophages start bleeding when near the Witcher. Interesting. In addition, the Witcher's blood injuries and blood injures and knocks them back when they wound him. Oh god, yeah, we definitely want that. Okay, take. How long does it last? 60 seconds. Okay, let's not take it now. We'll take it as soon as we get into combat. And I might also take some full moon. We can afford both of those, because it's only 15 and 25 out of 100. Okay. Let's, um, go underground. How many people did it kill? It killed a lot of people. Gotta be. Yeah. Well, it's a vampire. They don't really like being out in daylight. Footprints. Small oh, bare shit. Feet. There's another guy. Leaked you just died. The cellar. Small fell down the stairs, feet. broke his neck. Oh. oh, okay. So the vampire didn't actually kill him. He just fell down the stairs. And lots of footprints. Wow, this thing has killed a lot of gods. That guy seemed to die from that direction. But the trail of bodies leads this direction, so I guess we'll follow this way. Hurled against the wall with great force. Okay. Oh, what was that? Right, okay, yeah, we've got to bear in mind this thing can be invisible, so... Let's, uh... Let's go steady and quiet. Took a lot of strength to batter this down. Hang on, if that... Oh shoot, it must have come from that direction. It didn't escape... Okay, I was thinking maybe this was the body of the victim from the river. But this is something that's broken into the cellar. Not broken out. What use the hell? This to batter down the grate. You mean... When you say use this to batter down the gate, you mean use that guy to batter down the gate. That kind of puts a different... a different kind of swing on things there, my friend. Ooh, that's a lovely sound. You... saw you at the inn. Oh, wow, it's her from the inn. The innkeeper's daughter? I know what you are. Don't know why you killed these people, though. Clearly wasn't for their blood. Something to do with the ring? That's a great look for you. Like it. Do you don't need to be fight. naked, though? Is my question. You were wearing clothes earlier. You are wrong. Okay, well now that's suddenly problematic. I cannot let you leave. Oh, oh crap, that was unexpected. Okay, I need to take my potions. Potions now, potion me. Okay, let's get our black blood going. Okay, how 15% toxicity, that's fine. What else do we want? Accelerated stamina regeneration might be pretty handy. Yeah, let's just we're gonna double down on a whole bunch of potions. 60% toxicity, that's fine. I uh, also need to get my Yarden out. There we go. Hello, lady. Okay, where's my not superior grape shot? I need the other one. Can I change bombs? Why can't I change bombs? There we go. Superior moon dust. 
Oh. I want to try and stay in my yard, and although that's going to wear off soon. Maybe I can set on fire. Hey, lady, would you like a bomb? That should help. Oh god damn it. That scared the crap out of me. I've got more bombs. Okay, she is about to go down. Can I just set her on fire again? Burn, bitch! See, this is why we're Griffin School, Witcher, because Griffin School prepared properly. This is why Griffin School is the best school. We prepare for these kind of fights. And that's why we win. Now, what the hell was she doing down here? Okay. Well, that's useful. Grab all of her bits. Not not those bits. The, the bits we actually took. No, that sounded wrong. Ignore that. What the hell were you doing with the body? Stinks. It's a dead body. They usually stink. Waterlogged. Both hands amputated. Body was quartered just as I thought. Hmm. Why did you think the body had been quartered? Uh, okay, let's start from... Let's work our way down from the top. Laid in water for some time. Head swollen. And something took a few bites out of it. Hmm. Something in the throat. With coins. Ooh, some so we leveled up. Nice. Elf Guardian Florens. Several different provinces. If the murderer did this, means we're dealing with a sentient thinking beast. I'm gonna guess it's something to do with vampires. Why would they shove a whole bunch of money down his throat though? Body was chopped up after death. Blows struck with great force, but bones sliced through, not crushed. Creature that killed him had long claws, sharp as a witcher's blade. First sank its claws into the victim's heart. No Bruxa did this. Hmm. Why would it continue chopping up the body after it was already dead? It sounds like it killed it with like the first blow and then was really angry and just kept on attacking it. Taking off both arms. It basically just, yeah, caught the body with big sweeping blows. Interesting. Third hand. A spare. Except it's clearly not the victims. Guardsmen must have not noticed it as they picked everything up. Wait. How's this possible? Still warm. Blood still flowing. Several monster species can regenerate. Never heard of that happening to their severed limbs, though. More of their limbs seeming completely alive after so much time. Examine the tissue more closely later. When I learn something. Did you just put a living hand in your pocket? Okay, that's fine. They picked up three hands and they didn't even notice. I'm kind of, I'm not so unhappy that all those guardsmen are dead now. So, murderer was clearly a monster, but not a Bruxa. But then why did the Bruxa come here for the severed hand? And who does the hand belong to? Why the hell's it still warm? Now, how it shoved down the victim's throat. What's the significance? And why was he chopped up into pieces? Lots of questions. No answers so far. Need to know about the other victims. I'll ask Palmer in to get me in to see the Duchess. Okay, that's pretty interesting. So, I wonder if maybe this guy, who may have been a knight, I'm not sure, maybe he fought a monster, cut off its hand, and in rage, it then basically just, like, cut him to pieces. Maybe he was paid to hunt the monster, which is why he then tried to take off its hand, and that's what led him to have the money, which the beast then shoved down his throat, maybe? I don't know, I'm making a lot of supposition here. Oh god, there's more dead people around here. Hello, who are you? Uh, Toussaint Ducal Guardsman's Gauntlets and a Repair Kit. I'm probably going to need that Repair Kit. Although we didn't take too many hits from the Brookside. Which was good. Uh, nothing else I'm seeing around here. Okay, so we just need to leave now.
I do want to check that other pathway though, because it oh, we didn't check down the other side. Just run wondering. I'm wondering why the tunnel continues up on the minimap, but I can't see anything here. Is there a hidden passage? Interesting, okay. Anything else down here, or is this just a dead end? Okay, so this is just a dead end. Fair enough. Head outside, I guess. Wow, that's quite a difference coming back out into the sunlight and all the pretty flowers and stuff after, you know, all the dead people down there. I guess we kind of should check out the area. We did pick up some new armor, though. Let's just take a quick look at that. So what have we actually got here? We've got some... We've got boots, we've got trousers, we've got the chest piece, and we've got the gloves. So basically we've got a full set of guardsman armor. I could, I could totally change my appearance if I wanted. Hmm. I mean, the, the straight-up armor value is better. In some cases, significantly better. I mean, 200 armor versus 165. But it doesn't have any of the bonuses or slots to upgrade it, so... I mean, unless I need to look like a... You know, Duke of Guardsman. And we can't actually... We can't even wear that gauntlet yet. That's level 37. I'm only just turned level 36, so... We'll have to leave that for later. Alright, let's have a look around. Is there anything else? I mean, this is quite a large place. I'm wondering what else is around here. Can I... Oh. Oh, that's a bricked up doorway. I was going to say, why do these stairs lead to nowhere? Might as well have a gander around here. So this is someone's old vineyard. And they had to sell it to cover gambling debts, is what I gathered from the con conversation we had earlier. It's a lovely vineyard, don't get me wrong. Um, hmm. Why was I seeing a door? There's a door somewhere. Where's that door? Salandine, might as well grab some of that. Okay, no, this is not leading me where I want to go. Let's take a shortcut. Is that door I'm seeing just that door that I can't go in? Oh, it might be. Okay. I might just be being really dumb and wasting everyone's time. So, let's let's not do that. Um, we need to find Palmerin. Where is Palmerin? He is up with the Duchess, or should be nearby the Duchess. I'm guessing that's going to be where they're holding the tawny. So, we need to head up that way. There's a lot of places to explore in this. That makes me so happy. I love exploring in this game. It's so much fun. Alright, we need to head over there. Uh, 169 feet. That's actually not very far. Let's start heading in that direction. I will probably cut this episode off. Uh, actually, no, I'm going to actually call this episode here. And we will... St Ooh, I'm heading the wrong way. I'm actually going to take a break here. Because that sounds like we're going to head into another big cutscene. And I don't want to run this one too long. So, I'm going to take a break. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed all this. Do feel free to leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe if you did. And hopefully, I'm going to see you later for the next one of these. Bye.